yes, I'm stopping you the momentum too. Like, yeah, I'm doing that. Hey, you're icing your opponent? Icing it, man. Got to utilize the rules. Hey. Well, I'm excited to see what this set is going to bring. Komei versus T. We already know what characters are going to lock in. That's, of course, no surprise. But how are they going Yo, to Yo, even T it? does it. Hand over the heart, man. Shout out to Ken, the Sonic player from Japan. That guy's the true homie, dude. He still, he still rocks Sonic, too. He still plays his really uh, well in yeah, Japan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's still rocking people in Japan, too, with Sonic. Yeah, with Sonic, and Sonic is ooh, <laughs> not that well, good, I'm in sure my opinion. Ken has something to say about that, but regardless of what Ken has to say, it's all about T and Kome right now. All right, so we got Pac-Man. We got Shulk on the screen. Losers finals, we are breaching into that top three. There's only, there's so many people that entered this tournament here at Switchfest 2019, but only three remain. And Kome and T are gonna battle it out and see which two, which one will go ahead and face off with Kameme here in grand finals. Okay. And there does connect and close the forward air. Kome, looking like he was trying to do, the, do some micro spacing. In there, I like the fair as well. Just backing off. He knows he can't combo off of the shield art. So instead of getting reversal and overextending into it, just runs away, gets some charge on the bonus fruit. Hey, dropping the hydrant, dash attacking on top of the hydrant. Man, he, he knew that hydrant was going to go right over him. He just kept charging his bonus. That was funny. Oh, but there's the buster art. And just like that, look at all the damage coming in. Kome not being overly aggressive either. He's really like trying to pick his spots of when he wants to swing. Because I'm sure he, wow. that T has some trap set up for Kome. He's got something in mind. Yeah, and even just that jump fade back right past the range of the bell, you can just tell he's experiencing this matchup. That was so precise. Maybe. Oh, he's trying to catch him up top, but Shulk cannot get that high that quick. Maybe in jump art, but... Yeah, he was reaching for it. Really just trying to create quick work. Get rid of that stock, just secure it. But the back air does poke for Kome. And another forward air. T going to take his time recovering. Yep, he gets to the ledge. He has the apple charged up, throws it out, but Kome with the shield knows all the little tricks here and going right into the speed art. That's one thing I'm interested in to see from, from T. Like, yes, Kome's going to have the range advantage, but when will T be throwing out those S matches? Is he going to try and uh, hit the hurt box of a whip attack? Yeah, he could be. This could be what he's looking for. That up tilt, though, such a great anti-air tool. And T just wanted to jump over it all. Too much corner pressure, so overwhelming. Let me just go up and over. And Kome was like, no siree, you got to deal with this hitbox first. Shield mode is active, and that's going to give T uh, a little bit more time. Kome. Oh, and the snipe all the way across the stage. I know you want to go for that ledge, that juicy, juicy safety net. So tasty indeed. Oh, man, look at that. This is Pac-Man. That was Pac-Man. He's pressuring shields like that? <laughs> like, what? Oh, my goodness, dude. Like, that shield was so small. And he is in his pocket. Oh, almost caught the um, frame trap there. But the neutral air dodge might have just ended, or it just has very little end, end lag compared to directional air dodge. So going into the smash art, he wants the stock. But T is going to fade back, man. Chilling. It's true. It's I mean, we've actually seen a lot of characters that are able to stall out Smash Mode just like by staying off stage for so long, but Kome is still able to make it work. Yeah. The tip of the down air connecting. Yeah, I feel like their team might have wanted to like hold down so he didn't grab the ledge. I feel like maybe he got two frames so he lost the armor on the side B there. Um, but Kome just playing that out really, really well. He knew of all the stalls and he waited for the right moment and he knew exactly when he needed to go for the ledge. And that's how he got that punish on the re-grab. Taking the slow push to overcome T. I mean, even when they're in neutral, he's not running. He's simply walking. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these Japanese players know exactly um, how to deal with Pac-Man, like, in terms of neutral. Like, they know how to not overextend into hitting the hydrant. They know how to, you know what I mean, just maneuver around it. And you don't necessarily have to rush into it. Sometimes you, you can't take your time, especially if you have the lead. And up air is connected. He's chasing up so high, but he's not able to connect. And a down air will make sure that another up air Whoa. doesn't come out. That is a very interesting way to land there. I, I, I feel like you wanted to go into shield art because why would you jump high and then go into smash art and be like, don't hit me? Like, you know what I mean? Was still on cooldown though. Oh, it might have been, yeah. Okay, but I mean, speaking of cooldown, since we are on a fresh shot, the shield art is out. I'm gonna prevent some of these low percent combos that T has shown he is very proficient at. I've seen him zero to fifty many, many players here at Switch Fest. 
going for the parry on the last hit of dash attack, and that's going to put a little bit of damage on the Kome. T playing very patient, even though he's over 100% down. Hey, Galga, and I like that swinging right through. T wasn't expecting him to come in through that angle because it's like, well, the Galaga's there, right? But it's the startup of the Nair, hits the Galaga, and hits T with the back end of it. Okay, we're going to see an up throw and just a single up air to boot. And with the Smash R2, um, it can be hard to have these combo strings because there's increased knockback onto uh, both Shulk and his opponent. Exactly. Okay, getting back to the ledge. What? Uh, falling up air, looking like up smash, too. What? That connected. That hit him. <laughs> that definitely <Yep>. just <laughs> hit him. And, like, he was practically on the ground. Wow, I've never seen falling up air like kill like that and hit like that low. Man, Kome is bringing out all the stops here at Switchfest. It looked like he was ready. He had a bag of tricks and slowly he's revealing them one by one. I feel like he's shown us something just about every set. Yeah, and I mean, geez, that was just game number one, man. And what a back and forth in terms of stock. Kome able to seal that one out. He was trying to make the comeback, but just the Monado art usage made it so, so difficult because every time he's trying to make a comeback, it's like, oh, well, you know, if I get a Galaga combo, it's boom, 50%, right? Yes. And then, like, set up, shop after that, continue, continue. But, like, when you don't have access because shield art, and, like, there are some characters that can combo shield art, but I just, I don't think Pac-Man's one of them. <laughs> well, let's see if he is uh, able to make any type of adjustments here in game two as he does retreat to the ledge. Oh. Okay, and once again, gets the Galaga hit, but he's not able to fully extend the combo because the shield art interrupts it. Apple bounces all the way across the stage, switches right into the speed art. It looks like uh, Final Destination, one of uh, T's go-to stages. That's right, Nair out of shield is going to whip. Now with Muster Mode online, and of course just the slow approach that Kome is taking. Off the backboard though, gets the Galaga set up, and again, Kome slashing right through it. And so it's far and long enough to reach uh, a whip grab. There's the Nair. Oh, tries to get the upload extension. But could have been uh, like the Hydrant looked like it kind of messed that combo up right there. But it got the, oh, and right there you can pick up a bonus fruit and then charge it back up again. Something you could not do in Smash 4, but you can do in Ultimate. Oh, very smart. Well, back here going to poke through the platform or through the Hydrant and T as well. Yeah, it went through the Hydrant, went through the Cherry, hit T as well. And oh my goodness. That is something we don't see Kome go for that often. The smash art, smash or forward smash, right? Yeah. Um, and I mean, like, I think that's the first time we I've seen him do it in like top eight. And the fact that like the first one he brings out is, is gonna be a success and kill it like killed him at 90% after the hit. Like that's he even insane. like dash back forward too, just to increase the spacing. Yeah. Make sure that A T was at a position where he wouldn't be able to challenge. B still uh, have a have that threat. Right there, Komi knows since he down tilted that Hydrant, he knew T was going to come back in and finish off that Hydrant. So he just held shield, waited patiently, and ooh, wow. Looks like that key getting comboed into good damage here for T. Can he get his third stock? Oh, that or his was first stock. such good bait coming out from T. He yeah. threw out the bell, forcing Komi to actually, like, to approach. He's trying to put more distance between him and the bell, and he just called it out. Yeah. And now um, the trampoline you can hit, and it'll use up a charge. Oh, big damage down throw. Does not send you too far, and Komi, especially with the Buster Art, able to... Man, he did so much damage. He tried to take a stock there, too, with the Smash Art. And only getting a small punish for that with Air Slash. Okay, Nair into up air. Man, I feel like when Komi's on a roll, too, he'll, like, switch arts, like, every 10 seconds. Man, I think that was a startup of a forward smash. He got the first clip, but it uh, ended up trading. T barely surviving that back air near the center stage. Yeah. Forced to use some of his resources to just hang onto this stock, but now that Smash Mode is out, you know, I mean, I'm looking for a kill throw. Yeah, I mean, uh, the way that Kome is moving. Yeah, uh, back throw, forward arrow, still definitely do it, but looks like T gonna stall out that entire Smash Art. Really good stuff. Oh, there's the up B, almost taking him off the top. Great DI coming off the T. Of course, now using the side B to recover a little bit of distance. Okay. Again, just kind of burning out some of these mana arts, and still T is alive, 157%. But the smash art is out. You can get sneezed on with this Monado art, and you might just get your stock taken. Oh, for sure. But now Shield Mode is online, making sure that whatever plans T has uh, are going to be nullified by just the reduced launch. Man, you got to be careful if you're coming here, man. Like T's survivability is actually starting to scare me. 
Back air connects, but it's the sour spot. It's still not going to do the trick here. Yeah, it's taking a little bit of time for exercise as well, throwing a couple of forward airs. Now Galaga going to help home or help T approach ain't B line to the other side of the stage. At that point, looked like a forward air, no smash art needed. T was at such a high percent. That's right, running off stage, chasing his opponent so deep. Oh, here's the grab, man. Look at that. 19 damage off of a single throw. That buster art is no joke. Another back air, just making quick work with this hydrant. Wow. Putting it into play. What? Being able to convert two back airs off it. He comboed off the hydrant. That was crazy. Now we're in Smash Art, switching right to speed. And I love that Kome will, he'll like go for uh, an art, right? Like he goes for Smash Art, then like kind of tries to scare his opponent, but then he'll notice like, okay, this guy is definitely not going to get hit by any move I have in Smash Art. Then he just switches off. Yeah, he he, like, he doesn't like try to hard. push the issue. Let's get the down air. Switches the smash art here. Can he connect? He catches the bell with the back air. Okay, but no bell needed. He just threw it down and said, get this out of here. Yeah, he could have repicked it up, but not often to go for that. He'd much rather have, like, cancel yeah, at his disposal. If you, yeah, if you leave enough pressure on the T, then he won't be able to sh charge the bonus fruit. So, like, you won't have to worry, of, you know what I mean, if you yes. stay close enough to him. You won't have to worry about key or the, the bell and all that stuff. Another grab here, great damage, putting him back off stage in the same situation. Looks like we're gonna get a switch to the smash art. No, oh, wow, no forward air, just eats up that bell. No smash art needed here for Kome. He, he shows the smash art, doesn't actually switch to it, but swings the fair anyway. Maybe some <laughs> kind of mind game? Uh, the mind, if the mind games go that deep for Kome, this player is on a level that may be unparalleled. It's just like, oh, I'm going to Smash Art. No, I'm not going to Smash Art. Actually, I'm going to pair you anyway, <laughs> which is what I should do on Smash Art. Oh. The double fake. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does take time to switch into the art, so maybe he just didn't switch just so he could pull out the fair quickly. That could be a possibility. True, true, true. But staying on Final Destination, we're going to have our Game 3, and we have 2-0 Komen. Now, typically, he's... Oh, our players have been going back and forth, but this may be the first 3-0 with just how dominant Kome has been playing. Yeah, it just, it just seems so hard to every time he gets an opening. At least that time he got 37%, but it's so important for Pac-Man to get all this damage in that earlier part of the game because he doesn't have too many confirms like past like 50. Right there, we get a Galaga combo. Takes him from like 30 to 80, man. And wow, the forward smash almost killing him. Okay, adjustments have been made as we see Kome is sitting at a very high percent. Plus, is going to try and be able to make make up some of that deficit. Okay, Kome getting it. He lands on the stage, but at what cost, man? This guy's already at 128%. Buster Art is about to run out, so it looks like T was the one who got the benefit of that Buster Art. Okay, jumping in, trying to see. Ooh, switching the speed and bringing up the shield immediately, trying to focus, trying to get rid of that uh, that key and hydrant. Yeah, I definitely thought he was gonna get hit, but I because I heard him switching, but then he went right immediately into shield. Really good stuff here, but man, he still gotta he has to tack on some damage some way somehow. That cherry arc almost catching him off guard. Yeah, it would have been bad news for Kome if it did. Is he getting a little aggressive, but then just going right behind, back behind his uh fire hydrant. Back on. I mean, Kome knows he doesn't have to rush this thing. Oh, man. Oh, oh second geez. up air. Yeah, Kome trying to take his time, but once T got the hit, put him in the air, he was very, very aggressive with these up airs. Wanted to seal out that stock. You, you, it's so important you're able to seal out stocks with Shulk because Shulk can do Shulk things, and oh. Shulk things are easier to do with Rage. Two, mo two words, shield mode. Yeah. Shield, like he has so many like shenanigans. Wow, falling up air on the backside, he was able to cobble that into another aerial. Very, very good stuff here from T. And looks like T is just running away with this game. The air slash out of shield going for a good amount of damage on the T. And now we see T in the recovery position, stalling out as long as he can. Gets the up B, and I don't know if that was untechable or not. I mean, might have. Oh wait. Oh, tried to get the double stun there. Uh, the shield art. Was, it was going to make it so he wasn't going to die from that smash tag follow-up. Yeah, and then, of course, T completely expected that. Did get a second stun, but not enough. Only a, only a back air to, for a real punish. Wow. <laughs> Off the water once again. Hits him towards the hydrant and just is running into the hydrant. Eventually, as he gets through, goes for the up tilt. And just like that, you stage spike me. I'm going to pay you right back with this stage spike. Now, T is a player that has like the most confidence when it comes to like dashing out of players. I've seen him like, consistently dashing and just utilizing that, that position. Like As you can see, he, he, 
was able to fake out Komei just by running directly into the Hydrant. Yeah. yeah this guy, I mean, you remember what he did at ESAM? Yes, that's Which, exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what he did at ESAM. That, that clip was nuts. I believe that was at one of the locals, the one like after Prime Saga. But up throw up here, and man, T, I mean, how the tables have turned, man. Komei was up, is up two games, and like pretty commanding in both of those games, in my opinion. But T has figured something out, and he's making it work here on his uh, counter pick battle, or final destination. Right, another work. What? Double, Yo! But oh, the shield was... comes into play. It's going to mess up the launch. Damn, that was so close. If he didn't have shield art, man, I feel like shield art is like the MVP in the set. Oh, for sure. Okay, gets the backside, tries to hit back air. Oh, goes back on the stage, though. Oh, up smash call out was so close to hitting Komei. Yeah, definitely had the right idea, but just unfortunately, with having such good aerial drift, Komei was able to weave around that up smash. Now charging the bell. Okay, the bell next in the rotation. Yep, there it is. Tried to catch him off guard too, throwing it while he was facing to the left and then be, be reversing it. Very, very tricky stuff. Okay. is on line, but I mean, T is so good at just stalling out. Yeah, I mean, that's just Pac-Man in general. Pac-Man definitely equipped with uh, one of the better recoveries in uh, Smash Ultimate. Oh, there's the, um, the apple, of course. Um, all the different fruits have different throws. Apple is angled very far down, so you can be people off guard with that. Can you make it back with the jump arc? No, you can't because T was there with the angle down forward tilt, had the hitbox right by the ledge, and send you right back out. And yeah, especially in this game, man, if you get two frames, you don't get that double jump back. Yeah, it's so very unfortunate, but T able to get on the board one, two in Komei's favor. But now, even though that T was able to overcome uh, Komei in game three, the remainder of the games, all Komei counterbase. All of them. Yeah. So we've seen T in this position before. He, he has made he made the reverse reel happen um, earlier in top 48 against Void. I, I'm pretty sure he can do it in this match too. We saw a, a great amount of adjustments coming in for this show. And it's been really pesty, but he's starting to find ways outside of like, maybe even like baiting out the shield art and then like coming back in for all your big damage plays. Very true, very true. Okay, but able to poke in. Get a little bit of damage onto T. Bust mode. Bringing out the bus mode. Let's see if who's able to really utilize this mode to their advantage. Yeah, and like you said, pointed out earlier, Komei Kome is not afraid to just bring out the Buster Art right in neutral and just be like, all right, let's see who's winning neutral next. Like, <laughs> I'm down. I have that much confidence in my neutral play. Okay, poking with the back air, landing in there, getting a couple aerials. Okay, there's the up tilt. Still the damage pretty close. Yeah, this time we're not going to be on final destination. Definitely seems like uh, T's counter pick of choice, but. Even if you don't have the double jump, look at that Pac-Man just coming right back in. He might have still had both double jump, but like, look at how deep he got. Like, came back just from not using double jump. That's just that side B alone, which has armor. Yeah, typically your double jump is such a precious resource that you want to use it for the you know, last possible second. Dire situation. Yes, yeah. dire situation indeed. And in there, he's able to connect into an up air and back air. Shield Ooh. coming out. Nice little string here, gonna force the shield art as well. Now switching into the jump, but maybe should have kept it on that shield because T is gonna go ahead and get that forward smash. Outside of like being timed out when it comes to like his, his uh, meter timer. Oh! Wow. It's all the future. Yeah, and uh, dang, the, the, the Hydrant actually prevented <laughs> T from getting that punish there. It's so funny. Okay, try to drop the hydrant down on him, but really good. Recovering as close to the stage as possible. Komei getting the up B with the Buster R2 doing a decent amount of damage here. Hogan, the, the uh, fire hydrant, but T now has Galga in hand. Wow. Oh, he was expecting Shield Mode to come out. He knew exactly how he needed to punish. Yeah, right there, the fair right into the grab with the forward smash. No matter where you're at, if you get hit by that, that move hits like a truck, and that'll be T's first stock going down. Big down with the Galaga again. Back air on shield is not safe. Oh, tried to, and I mean, that forward smash can hit below the ledge there. So, T trying to catch that recovery. Um, it does not snap on the way up. That's why we see Kome uh, sweet spotting it like every single time. He has to do that. Okay, forward air. T finds himself off stage once again. But we all know how comfortable T is in that position. Okay, there's a down, down air, or down tilt poke, rather. Coming down with the shield art. Really good stuff, Steve. Come down, land. Even if I get hit, I'm probably going to still be on stage. But the bell does connect, but oh, what? It's taking a little bit too much time. T must have not expected the bell to actually connect because he had already committed to a roll. 
Wow. Okay, so is he not going to get that bell conversion? Probably would have been the stock, honestly, if he got the up smash. But oh, he was definitely in a position to get up smash. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like you said, T probably just expecting the shield. You know what I mean? So you got your grab so slow, you got to preemptively throw it out. <laughs> okay, no, is on mine. Back air. Wow, he is gonna do the trick here. No smash attacks needed, but you know, when, when Shulk's at 140, I hope, I hope, I, I hope that back air kills. You know. <laughs> Okay, Smash, you can see a forward throw, and now T finds himself off stage. Are we going to go in deep? Is Koma going to go for it? Wow, look at that angle that T went for. Also stalling with the Hydrant twice. The forward smash almost takes him off to the right, but T barely surviving here. That's right, it's so unfortunate for Kome as, as the Smash mode just ran out. Wow, he sized up the second hit. Really good stuff from T. I pretty much made it, like, pretty sure he could have grabbed it regardless, but very, very nice. Smashmo looks back. Are we going to be looking for a grab? What are we doing? What's Kome looking yeah. for? Definitely tried to get that grab there, but T was definitely like, I'm out of here. And Kome catching the last line of defense being the Galaga and also swinging with that forward. They're going to take out that stock. That two for one special working in Kome's favor. And that does put T on his last stock. Can Kome clutch this one out? I mean, this is another game where T just feels like so much, has so much control and has had so much control from the beginning, from the get-go. But you said it earlier, so things can happen, especially as this timer goes on. We are gonna see the bell connect and only an up air to, to, uh, to punish. Yeah, too high up in the air though. Couldn't, couldn't get anything too crazy, but the pressure's still going. Oh, and wow. Back throw while Buster Mode is on, that's a good amount of damage. Nair connecting, those these players are just trading. Yep, using the jump art coming really, really high, but looks like T gonna just reset to the ledge here. Oh, trying to get him to, uh, trying to get that pressure going, but T, oh no, okay, shield, okay, see, that was good. He didn't commit to a smash attack because he knew the shield was coming. The obstacle for the forward air, just opts to show him that, like, hey, I'm coming for you, you better shield art. Right, now is T's moment because shield mode is on cooldown. Oh, there's the F smash. Yeah, he's trying to get this kill before shield art comes back out. He gets the up smash, but it's the sour hit. Oh, with smash mode, both these players are kill percent. We're going to try and go for the... The down air? No, he's just looking for the lift trap. Oh, he's trying to stall as long as possible. Run! <laughs> Run away from the smash art. Oh, the dash attack, but that's going to whip. Jump! Man, this is so, so close. Kome with, like, on his last leg, man. I mean, in terms of this game, oh, he's barely surviving. T really wants this game five situation. The back air connects on the shield art. Directional air dodge back to the ledge here. Can Kome get his footing back? Where's the key gonna come out? Is he gonna utilize it? There it is, and the Hydrant catches. We have another game five. Wow, from the clutches of defeat, man. Look at this Pac-Man go. He's down 0-2 once again. Now bringing it back to a game five situation, man. This, this Pac-Man's too clutch. Indeed. I'm not sure how far he's gonna be able to clutch all these sets out. He Hope he's able to overcome Kome so we can see another Kamehameha versus uh, T. At the yeah. same time, T versus Kamehameha, that's also going to be a hype set. The fat man would definitely come out if uh, T gets the grand final. <laughs> so if you guys are a Wario fan, you should be rooting for T. All right, so starting things off, we're going to go straight back to Pokemon Stadium too. Uh, Kome starting things off. And just look at that T being very, very patient on the ledge because because of the way Kome is positioning himself. He is positioned by the roll area. He knows that he can't hit him with anything over there. So just take your time. Burn out the Buster Art. Why not? Right. T able to land a forward air and convert. I mean, T's conversions in this set haven't really been too high of a damage output. But at the same time, they just continue to happen and racking up damage. Yeah, and, and that's mainly because the Shield Art is pretty much interrupting everything. But um, T, I feel like, is getting a lot better at not committing into these Shield Arts and just getting that nice reset. All right, now Octane is switched to a mode yet. Reset. Shield immediately comes out. It's like, oh, I hit you? Let me just, like, literally hit you into buffer dash away charge bonus fruit because I know you're going to Shield Art. Like, that's how hard of a read he has on him right now. Okay, well, back here, across the back here, does connect, and s Man's going to whisk. going to allow Homemade to get a punish. Because honestly, with Shield Art, especially at lower percents, if you're not getting a reversal, like, it's pretty good because you stop the Onslaught. But, like, if you're not getting a reversal and they reset it back to neutral and run away from you, you don't get, like, too much value out of it. Oh, oh man. But mess right there. You immediately switch knowing exactly what's going to be coming. Did he just what? illusion the water? Yeah, he did. And I'm so surprised that the sour hit of Forward Smash, 
like was the thing that ended up hitting for T because the water pushed him too close to Kome. That's crazy. This, I don't know. It's like okay, this time, this, okay. this time, no shield art, no hydrant to interrupt anything. The bell, so the forward smash connects. But just like that, Kome comes back with a smash art, trying to take this stock. Interesting that the back throw with smash mode online wasn't enough to take the stock from T. And air slash coming out with a quick jab to you know, make work at that position. But run back F smash with yeah. speed mode. And he, he actually was able to get to that particular location because of the speed art, and he needed that little bit of room. So calculated, and again, I just want to point out the way this man shuffles his Monado's art is so damn good. It's next level for sure. And if we see the Galga set up, Omen's going to be uh, pretty sure hard-pressed to go to that shield node, but it's on cooldown. Why isn't T approaching? T is big chilling right now. He's waiting. Maybe the... the Oh, oh, wow. I know I said we didn't see like big damage combos earlier in the set, but wow, there was the one. He was in Buster Art the whole time, bro. <laughs> and I think the Shield Art was down as well. There was nothing he could do. And Shield Art was not enough to save him from getting hit by SNES. It, it had to have like not activated on time. I don't think it did. He yeah, didn't see the spark. Right, because if, if it did activate on time, he wouldn't have died. So, wow, just maybe a little bit too slow or maybe just T being a little bit too quick here for Kome. Okay, we see the tipper hit of up air and then up. Whoa. No way! No. no way! What? Okay. Oh. <laughs> that ain't right, bro. That, <laughs> that ain't that ain't right. That was crazy. <laughs> tipper up air. Oh, dude. That